quite a lot of people are asking, what if this plan fails? And in my own view, it will fail. But there's another question. What if it succeeds? The IMF, Either the, way, it's a well, little that's scary. The, plan. The, the IMF said they, they project 15% unemployment in Greece in 2012. And that's the narrow definition. The broader definition, something closer to RU6, could be 20 25%. Now, apply that austerity formula to Spain, Portugal, you know, maybe the U.K. at some point, even though they're outside the euro system. You're looking at sort of expanded definition of unemployment, 25% across so Europe. Those levels. are depression era levels. That's yep. because I've been saying we're, we're in a depression. It's a better way to think about it than, you know, back-to-back -back recessions. That's if they succeed. Now, if they fail, which in my view they, they will, then you're looking at printing money and, and hyperinflation. So two bad outcomes, no matter how you look at it. Look at what George Soros did to the Bank of England in 1992. He, he went after them. They had a finite amount of dollars. He was selling sterling and taking the dollars, and they were buying the sterling and selling the dollars to defend the pay. All he had to do was sell more than they had, and he wins. But he needed real money to do that. He either had to have cash, which he did, or bank lines of credit. Today, you can break a country. You don't need money. You just need synthetic euro shorts and CDS. So Goldman, you know, you've got a trillion dollar bailout, but Goldman can create ten trillion dollars of euro shorts. And so it just dominates whatever the governments can do. So that basically, Goldman can create shorts faster than Europe can print money. And therefore, the market, you can say the market wins. It's not really a market. It's sort of the back to this casino thing. And that's yeah. the problem.